First the monks put a blue dot on each of the chips and then they drew an arrow. Each disc is a galaxy and they were started in an almost uniform or random distribution so there was gravity had not acted and everything was smooth, the universe early on. And then they were they were acting out gravity by moving each galaxy according to the gravity of its neighbors and moving it in the direction and by an amount that was according to the gravity of its neighbors. Um, and then they do that for the entire set. It's a thousand discs. It's, it's a lot of galaxies. And then to keep track of them, one side of the disc is blue and one is black. And when they, when they exercise gravity on one of the galaxies, they turn it over so they can keep track of the ones that they've done. And they make one pass over it, and that's one step, what you would do in a supercomputer with, with uh, cosmology. And then they do it again, and then they do it again. And this is the third step. And already the galaxies are getting tight, tightly clustered, so now they're starting to means four times gravity is the same as if you had four. So the balance, it's balance. It's balance. So this is why this part, this becomes difficult now. As soon as we start to make pile, multi, more than one, in one place, you have to decide whether, you know, okay, if it's now this, then yes, it goes to here. If it's here, it's balanced, so you don't move it. If he's here, yes, you go towards this one. So you, this is now, it's getting more complicated.